hello guys welcome back again to mj crypto and right in this video i'm going to show you practically what exactly is happening in the market and we're going to be analyzing one of my favorite pairs which is eth btc i love this pair so much because it actually shows you um the exact thing happening in the market i'm talking about the major caps like ethereum btc and other mid caps right so I'm going to go over to my weekly time frame right now and show you what exactly is happening on the larger time frames. You remember the larger time frames always shows you the key levels and it enables you to understand the total direction of the market from a higher perspective. So now, we're on the weekly time frame, we're about to start the analysis right now. I'm waiting for this to load up so that uh, you know we can just proceed and get things going guys remember if you've not liked or subscribed to this channel kindly do that right now while you can because on here we're actually going to be exposing a lot of secrets and strategies that will make you profitable in the long term all right so this is amazing so guys you can see right now this is the chart of eth btc on the weekly time frame and you can see that overall we are what bearish overall we are bearish now why do i say overall we are bearish now this is where we got our change of character from let me just show you this is where we got our change of character from on the weekly time frame this is where we got our change of character from i'm just going to put it as church I'm gonna put this in the middle and change the color to red all right good so what a change of character right from there and where was the supply that caused that change of character that is the most important thing from the weekly the supply that caused that change of character is somewhere around here somewhere it has to be somewhere around here right it has to be somewhere around there guys and you can see price came up to call the liquidity from this axis just show you from this axis all the liquidity was taken out completely all right and it didn't stop there we ended up forming a symmetrical triangle on the weekly symmetrical triangle on the weekly and if you look closely right from this axis here let me just um if you look closely right from this axis let me just draw this so that you can see what we're doing from this axis here you can see that we have another change of character showing us that a trend change is about to happen again after the previous rally the previous rally lasted from this point down to here it started from here right up to this point okay we had a break of structure from this point here price came back tested the other block and then came back here which was our major supply that caused the overall change of character on the weekly time frame now liquidity has been taken out from this point and then price started forming um something like a symmetrical triangle and you know symmetrical triangles it means that um price could either break out from the up or down side all right price could break out from either the top or the bottom depending on where the volume is coming from if there are more sellers trust me price will definitely break out from um the support and fall down all right so but basically that's just what it is so now we had our change of character here we're gonna put this as church had our change of character somewhere around there and we supply cost it somewhere around here Let me just show you somewhere around here Let 
gonna put this in blue so that was the supply that caused this change of character that we're seeing here now i mean this one use my arrow this supply caused this change of character of course price came back mitigated it don't forget we already have our fair value gap here so price came back mitigated this and then dropped again but guess what it did not break the structure it didn't what break the structure so what is the next move that you think may happen let's scale down to the daily now all the three days time frame let's see if we have a bearish pattern that will confirm this move for us all right amazing let's see if we have um the bearish pattern that will confirm this move um of course yes we have a break of structure somewhere around here i will break of structure somewhere around here all right just watch me so we analyze this we break of structure somewhere around there and obviously can see the can see the big move here the supply that cost um that cost this break of structure somewhere around here and price has effectively mitigated it so now what is the next thing price may likely do let's come down to the daily and see what we have there you can see it price has already what a broken structure and it has mitigated some sort of supply zone here do you see it everything is aligning do you see it look at what i'm saying guys it has mitigated this supply all right so if we scale down to the four hours what do you think may likely happen let's scale down to the four hours now what do you think may likely happen the four hours is showing us that oh yes we have let me just take all these things out the four hours is showing us that right here look at it guys look at it right here we have a rising wedge coming up from coming out from um yeah we have a rising wedge coming out from look at this look at this guys it's a rising wedge coming out from the break of structure remember we're already bearish on the weekly time frame Look at this guys look at this perfect because this. this is just this is just perfect guys look at it let me make this as perfect as it can as perfect as it can be good so now if we start having a close if we start having a close below if we start having a close below or let me just take it from here yeah let me take it from there if we start having a close below this trend line this resistor this support trend line from the falling wedge from the rising wedge rather if we start having yeah it's perfect now if we start having um because this is where this is where the price actually started from here so if we start having a close beneath this structural point here right this structural point here right good it's more evident that we're going to be having a fall to the downside we're going to be having a fall to the downside and we're going to be targeting somewhere around here okay this should be our next target somewhere around here and if that should happen <laughs> trust me guys if this should happen it is more evident that we must have breaking out from the symmetrical triangle now let's see what we're saying 
Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see. Beautiful. So if we do break out from here, or let's say we do break out from here. So here should be TP1. And just make here TP1. So this was where the wedge started from, the rising wedge. So I'm gonna make this TP1. Okay. Now so I'm gonna make this TP1. So if we do come down, take out this point here, it's going to be our TP1. TP1. Alright, good. So this will be our TP1 if we eventually take out this guy here. Right, so if we come back again to take out this guy, this point here, if we come and take out this point, here will most likely be our TP3. Okay, this is the external point. Now, if we come back to take out this, it will be our TP3, while this would be our TP2. Right, so I'm going to put a line across there right now. I'm going to put a line across. Should this happen, we must have broken out from the uh, must have broken out from the wedge formation from the symmetrical triangle formation which we had on the weekly. Let's see what it looks like. You see it? See what I'm saying? Must have broken out if price should come down here. Look at it. Must have broken out from the weekly. You see, if price should come down here, if price should come down somewhere around here, the clear indication that it must have broken out from the weekly, and then price will start dropping and falling drastically. Now, when this happens. There's only one thing that will occur in the market. BTC will start pumping. BTC is going to pump massively. As this is falling, BTC will be pumping. Why? Because Ethereum will be losing its value into Bitcoin. And Bitcoin will start rising. Alright, so now back to the 4 hour time frame. Back to 4 hour time frame. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Our wedge formation. Rising wedge formation. Let's see what it looks like. Uh huh. Let's see what this thing looks like. Amazing, isn't it? Beautiful. So now we already know this is what's gonna happen. So guys, subscribe to the channel. Get the SMC Made Easy course. It's only about twenty nine dollars, and you can do all of these things by yourself when you purchase the course everything is written everything is documented rather in that course and i don't want you to lose out i don't want you to miss out so get the smc made easy course to get the course the link is in the description of this video send the dm so you can get this right away guys you need this all right you really do need this honestly speaking all right so cheers guys one love peace out um yeah not until we break out from this formation we are not yet bearish so don't be in a hurry to enter the trade wait for the breakout all right wait for the breakout of this formation don't be in a hurry to enter any trade wait for the breakout guys if you don't wait for the breakout you're on your own do wait for the breakout to be professional in what you're doing all right so cheers guys one love for me it's peace out have a lovely sunday